Hello, everybody. It's great to be here today. I'm excited to introduce Sapphire Rapids because I believe Sapphire Rapids will establish a new standard in data center architecture. Sapphire Rapids is our next generation Xeon scalable processor. It delivers great out of the box performance with enhanced capabilities for the breadth of workloads and deployment models in the data center. Sapphire Rapids delivers a step function in performance across a broad set of scalar and parallel workloads. More importantly, it is fundamentally architected for breakthrough performance in elastic computing models like containerized microservices and for rapidly expanding use of AI in all forms of data-centric compute. Sapphire Rapids also advances the state of the art in memory and IO technologies. Our overall architecture philosophy for Xeon is to deliver the best infrastructure in the data center. Xeon spans a wide range from monolithic server node deployments to data center scale elastic solutions. It delivers consistent performance across compute, storage, and network usages. Xeon architecture is optimized to deliver great node level performance as well as data center level performance. Sapphire Rapids delivers big improvements at both levels. The new performance score in Sapphire Rapids brings significant scalar performance improvements. In addition, the multiple integrated accelerator engines and increased core counts provide a massive increase in data parallel performance. Furthermore, these performance scores are paired with right levels of cache and industry leading system capabilities of DDR5 and PCI Gen 5 to provide optimal balance across compute, memory, and I.O. Finally, all of these are integrated through a modular SOC architecture that provides consistent and efficient performance scaling across the socket, the node, and the data center. At data center scale, it is critical to deliver great performance and utilization under multi-tenant usages. Low jitter performance to meet the tight SLA or service level agreements, as well as elasticity across the entire infrastructure. In contrast, the industry standard benchmarks focus on node level compute throughput and do not reflect the reality of data center scale usages. We have drawn deep insights from multiple generations of Xeon products deployed at cloud scale to inform Sapphire Rapids architecture. As a result, we deliver big advances in each of these areas with Sapphire Rapids. For example, it offers several virtualization and telemetry capabilities to improve multi-tenant usages. We expand the QoS capabilities and architecture enhancements to reduce jitter for performance consistency under high utilization. In addition, we are introducing several microarchitecture and architecture capabilities to improve performance across a broad set of workloads to deliver better data center elasticity. Data center deployment models exhibit significant overheads. Sapphire Rapids fundamentally changes the paradigm of handling these overheads through acceleration engines. These accelerators not only speed up the overhead processing multifold, but also significantly offload the cores, enabling them to deliver more application workload performance. As I said, this will be the new standard of data center architecture. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sapphire Rapids. I would like to call on Chief Engineer Naveen Nasif to introduce the breakthrough SOC architecture that is Sapphire Rapids. Thank you, Silash. At the heart of Sapphire Rapids is a new modular tiled architecture that allows us to scale the balanced Xeon architecture beyond the limits of the physical reticle. Sapphire Rapids is the first Xeon product built using EMIB, our latest 55 micron bump pitch silicon bridge technology. This innovative new technology enables independent tiles to be integrated in a package to realize a single logical processor. The resulting performance, power, and density are comparable to an equivalent monolithic die. We're now able to increase core counts, cache, memory, and I.O. free from the physical constraints that would otherwise have been imposed on the architecture and would have led to difficult compromises. 
This space SOC architecture is critical for providing balanced scaling and consistent performance across all workloads. This is key for data center scale elasticity and achieving optimal data center utilization. With this architecture, we're now able to provide software with a single balanced unified memory access, with every thread having full access to all resources on all tiles, including cache, memory, and I.O. The result is consistent low latency and high cross-sectional bandwidth across the entire SOC. This is one of the critical ways we achieve low jitter in Sapphire Rapids. While Sapphire Rapids delivers out-of-the-box scalability for existing software and ecosystems, users can enable clustering at sub-NUMA and sub-UMA levels for additional performance and latency improvements. Sapphire Rapids sets a new standard for data center architecture with the seamless integration of cores and acceleration engines providing a heterogeneous compute infrastructure. It delivers the highest levels of compute performance through a combination of a high-performance core increased core counts, increased AI performance, and the industry's broadest range of data center relevant accelerators. And Sapphire Rapids delivers leadership IO capabilities through CXL 1.1, PCIe Gen 5, and UPI 2.0 technologies. All these are provisioned with Intel's highest bandwidth and low latency memory solutions through industry leading DDR5, Optane, and HPM memory technologies. Now, back to Silash. Thanks, Naveen. Now let's start with the details of the three major pillars that Naveen outlined, starting with the data center performance core. As mentioned earlier, optimizing exclusively for standard benchmarks would have been the easy path, but that does not reflect the full picture of real data center usages. We use the insights from generations of Xeon large-scale deployments to inform our microarchitecture choices for the performance core. Just to provide a flavor of this, data center workloads exhibit large code footprints and are fundamentally bottlenecked by the front-end performance of the core. We fundamentally redesign the front-end to address these bottlenecks in the performance core. Consistent performance under multi-tenant usages is critical. The core delivers several improvements like fast VM migration, enhanced cache and new TLB QoS capabilities for multi-tenant usages. We introduce autonomous and fine-grained power management to improve core performance without jitter. In addition, we added several new architecture capabilities in the core, including instructions and capabilities relevant for the data center. I want to provide a few examples of new ISA capabilities here. As Adi mentioned, we integrated AMX capabilities to accelerate tensor operations for AI workloads. We are also introducing accelerator interfacing architecture instruction set, AIA, which supports efficient dispatch, synchronization, and signaling to the accelerators and devices from user mode, as opposed to high overhead kernel mode. To address the growing demands for signal processing, we introduced half precision floating point to AVX. Another example is the CML Demote instruction. It helps with optimal movement of data across cache hierarchy to improve shared data usage models. Another major area of focus for Sapphire Rapids compute capability was to improve performance significantly for common functions and overheads with at-scale data center deployments. I would like to invite Arijit, the lead architect on Sapphire Rapids, to tell us more. Thank you, Silesh. One of my key focus areas on Sapphire Rapids was to explore breakthrough improvements for the high levels of common mode tasks causing overhead that we see in data center scale deployment models. Instead of traditional approaches, we embarked on a new direction using optimized acceleration engines. We found these engines to vastly improve processing of these overhead tasks and enable greater utilization of the performance course for higher user workload performance. We addressed the key challenge of seamlessly integrating acceleration engines with performance cores on Sapphire Rapids through a set of novel technologies such as AIA 
and advanced virtualization that enables us to avoid kernel mode overheads and complex memory management typically associated with such schemes. Sapphire Rapid supports several critical acceleration engines for processing the most common overheads. I'm excited to introduce a couple of them today. Data center usage models involve significant data movement overhead as part of workload processing. Examples include packet processing, data reductions, and fast checkpointing for virtual machine migration. Sapphire Rapids introduces the Data Streaming Accelerator Engine to offload the most common data movement tasks. DSA can move data between CPU caches and DDR memory, as well as I.O. attached devices. In this graph, we show an open virtual switch use case in which, with up to four instances of DSA, we see a nearly 40% reduction in CPU utilization and a 2.5x improvement in data movement performance. This results in nearly doubling the effective core performance for this workload. Intel Quick Assist technology is not new to Intel products. Sapphire Rapids provides seamless integration of the next generation QAT engine greatly increasing its performance and usability. All data in the data center is cryptographically protected during storage, transmission, and use. Furthermore, the ever-growing data footprint is increasingly maintained in a compressed format. Our next-generation QAT acceleration engine supports the most popular crypto, hash, and compression algorithms and can chain these together. Performing these functions using QAT is significantly faster than the performance core and reduces the number of cores needed for those same functions. Sapphire Rapids QAT achieves up to 400 gigabits per second of crypto and simultaneous compression and decompression at up to 160 gigabits per second each. In this example, with the Zlib L9 compression algorithm, we see a 50x drop in CPU utilization while also speeding up the compression by 22 times. Without QAT, this level of performance would require upwards of a thousand performance cores to achieve. Thank you. Back to you, Selesh. Thanks, Arijit. With growing compute capabilities, a balanced architecture needs to deliver commensurate improvements in I.O. Sapphire Rapids delivers breakthrough advancements with its I.O. interfaces. We introduce the industry standard Compute Express Link technology, CXL, for memory expansion and accelerator usages in the data center. To cater to the growing I.O. speeds and feeds, we introduce support for PCIe Gen 5, while also enhancing the QoS and DDIO capabilities that go with it. Sapphire Rapids delivers optimal multi-socket performance scaling through advancements to our UPI technology that brings more links at wider width and higher speeds compared to our prior generations. For the data center processor to deliver across all workloads, the compute and IO capabilities need to be augmented with the right balance of cache and memory architecture to deliver sustained bandwidth at low latencies. Sapphire Rapid supports a large shared cache that allows dynamic sharing across the entire socket. We are almost doubling the shared capacity over prior generations and enhancing the critical QoS capabilities to further improve effectiveness. With industry-leading DDR5 memory technologies, we are delivering the next big step function in bandwidth while simultaneously improving power efficiency. In addition, Sapphire Rapids delivers multifold performance improvements and QoS capabilities with our next generation Intel Optane memory. And we are not done with memory just yet. In addition to support for DDR5 and Optane memory technologies, Sapphire Rapids also offers a product version that integrates HBM technology in package for high performance in dense parallel computing that is prevalent with HPC, AI, machine learning, and in-memory data analytic workloads. Typically, CPUs are optimized for capacity, while accelerators and GPUs are optimized for bandwidth. However, with the exponentially growing model sizes, we see constant demand for both capacity and bandwidth without trade-offs. I'm happy to say that Sapphire Rapids does just that by supporting both natively. 
We further enhanced this with support for memory tiering that includes software visible HPM plus DDR and software transparent caching between HPM and DDR. AI usages will become ubiquitous in the data center due to the success relative to traditional methods. In order to deliver data center scale elasticity, great AI performance is required across all tiers of compute. So this was one of the major focus areas for Sapphire Rapids. We introduced AMX capabilities that provide massive speed up to the tensor processing that is at the heart of deep learning algorithms. We can perform 2K intake operations and 1K bfloat 16 operations per cycle. This represents a tremendous increase in compute capabilities that are seamlessly accessible through industry standard frameworks and runtimes. We augment this with strong general purpose capabilities, large caches, high memory bandwidth and capacity to deliver breakthrough performance improvements for CPU based training and inference. Let's take a look at AMX in action in our validation labs. Thanks, Stylish. AMX is a hardware block in the Sapphire Rapid CPU with a new expandable two-dimensional register file and a new matrix multiply instructions to enhance performance for a variety of deep learning workloads for both inference and training. As you mentioned, we can do more matrix multiplies per clock cycle so we can process data faster. Here in our lab, we have a Sapphire Rapid server running an internally optimized general matrix multiply gem kernel. On the left-hand side, we are running without AMX, and on the right-hand side, we are running with the AMX extensions. With AMX's ability to do more matrix multiplies per clock cycle, you can see that we are executing the gem kernel approximately 7.8x faster with advanced matrix extensions. While this demo highlights a highly efficient gem kernel to show the architectural capabilities of this platform, we expect substantial performance gain across the AI workloads for both training and inference. We expect the vast majority of new scalable services will be built using elastic compute models like containerized microservices. This trajectory was clear when we started architecting for Sapphire Rapids. To address this, we focused on capabilities and architecture choices to improve the computing model for throughput under tight SLA with low infrastructure overheads. We made architecture enhancements across the product, spanning the core, the accelerators, and the SOC capabilities to really deliver on this. For example, the AIA capabilities we talked about fundamentally reduce the microservices startup time. Advanced telemetry improvements help with optimal microservices, load balancing, and orchestration and a number of capabilities like QAT and DSA help with reducing the network stack overhead with microservices service mesh. We have been using multiple proxy workloads to develop these capabilities and optimize the open source software stack to benefit from these capabilities. This chart shows the speed up we are modeling in our architecture models and with some early silicon measurements on Death Star Bench and other example proxies that is normalized at the per core level. And as you can see, we are seeing some great improvements in performance with the microservices computing model. In summary, Sapphire Rapids provides a big leap in performance and capabilities to establish a new standard in the data center architecture. At the root of Sapphire Rapids is a modular tiled SOC architecture thanks to the EMIC technology that enables significant scalability by maintaining a monolithic view. It delivers substantial performance across scalar usages and massive performance in emerging parallel workloads like AI. It delivers great improvements for monolithic workload deployment models while exclusively optimized for elastic compute models like microservices. It brings industry-leading memory and I.O. technologies to feed the massive computing capabilities in a balanced way. As one would expect, Sapphire Rapids is a complex undertaking, and I would like to take the opportunity to thank the teams across all of Intel that are bringing Sapphire Rapids to market. Thank you.